In this video, we are going to investigate the basics of slope. Slopes are commonly associated with mountains. So what is slope? When we're considering slope, we have to realize that they're moving in two directions. Firstly, we've got a vertical, up and down. We call this the rise. And horizontal, which means left to right, or the run. In mathematics, slope is defined as the rise over the run. There are four kinds of slope in math, and here they are. Let's investigate them. First one we're going to come across is a positive slope. So here is a line. So to figure out the slope of this line, what we need to do is we need to pick two points that are exactly on the line, and I recommend that intersect with things. So let's take that point there, and I don't know, right here. So uh, we need to count how many units we're going up here. So we're going up one up two, up three, up four. So we have had a rise of four. And to go over to our dot, we're gonna go over one space, two, three, and four. We've gone over four. So if we write our formula, slope is equal to the rise over the run. We've got a rise of four and a run of four. And we divide those two values, you'll get a slope of one. Second line is a negative slope, and this line runs in the other direction. So again, we have to pick two points that are on this line. Let's take this point here and say this point here, and let's do our rise over our run. In fact, this time we're not actually rising, we're going down. And so you'll notice that our numbers are going from 1 to 0 to minus 1 to minus 2. So we're actually going down here. So we're going down by 1, 2, 3. We have gone down by 3, so we'll go minus 3. And we've 1, 2, gone up by 2. Again, notice the numbers start at 0 and go to 1 and 2. They're increasing. So once again, we have our slope as our rise over our run. We have the negative 3 for the rise, the 2 for the run, and so our slope is going to be minus 3 halves. The next slope is the zero slope. So what happens if we get a line that runs like this? Well, we have no rise, so we have a rise equal to zero. And we've got a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this case. So slope equals rise over run. We've got a zero on the top, 5 on the bottom, and we need to divide 5 by 0 you'll find your slope is zero. Our last one is called the undefined slope. Now with this line here, we have, uh, again, let's take these two points here. We've got a rise of one, two, three, rise of three. Or whatever you wanna have here. And then we've got a run of zero. So when we put our values in, We've got three on the top and zero on the bottom. If you take your calculator and enter that, it's gonna basically give you an error. It's gonna explode. It's gonna say that cannot be calculated. If you think about it, it's asking how many zeros are there in three? That doesn't make any sense. And so we call this the undefined slope. In summary, you've got four types of slope. You've got your positive slopes, and the lines run in that direction. We've got negative slopes, they run in the other direction. We've got a zero slope running to the horizontal and an undefined slope running to the vertical. If you can remember these four lines, you'll be in good shape when you do slope. 